Hey guys, welcome back to Home Build, and this week I'm gonna get stuck into the oil tank and then possibly uh, have a look at some of the wiring I've been putting off on uh, my old 911 project. So as most of you would know, the old 911s are air-cooled, but um, if you want to really get into it, technically they're probably more accurately oil-cooled, and uh, they run a very large amount of oil. And uh, this is the oil tank uh, that I've pulled out already, and it is pretty filthy and disgusting, so um, before I can put it back in, I've got to strip it all down and clean it up and uh, give it another coat of paint. So. Um, Let's start pulling this thing apart. Okay, so it was about time and I finally bit the bullet and I bought myself a parts washer because uh, I should have really done this ages ago when I tried to do all the engine parts before I sent them over to performance developments. But uh, either way, now at least I should be able to use this to uh, finish cleaning out my oil tank. Okay, so I'm gonna let those hoses and stuff in there soak and uh, let the detergent and stuff do its job. And I've left the tank out in the sun to dry, so hopefully that will uh, dry up. So that means um, getting onto the bit that I've been putting off for ages, which is, um, let's have a look at this wiring. And just before I get onto the wiring, just look at the amount of, of gunk that was built up on this tank. So uh, it definitely needed a good clean. Okay, so I've been putting this off because I know it's gonna be a headache, but um, I really need to get stuck in and sort this wiring out and get the basic functions of the car that aren't related to the engine all working properly. So when I actually get the engine, all I have to do is put that in and worry about that and everything else works. So get the lights, the horn, the heater controls and things, just get them all working and then um, we should be good. So. First thing uh, I'm going to tackle is, as soon as I connect the battery, I'm not sure if you can hear that, but there sounds like, sounds like a fan control or something is making an awful noise. So um, that's my first thing to track down, is to track that down. And the way I'm going to track that is, um, basically I'm going to connect it up and start pulling fuses, and when it stops, I know I've got the right fuse. Okay. All right, so I found the fuse. This is, this is the fuse here, as soon as I connect it up. There's the noise, and thanks to the Classic Retrofits fuse panel, uh, it'll also show me that there's uh, a current drawer on this terminal that's not getting... First things first, I've found my annoying noise. So uh, now I need to track that down and find out what it is. The plot thickens because um, I was trying to work out what that sound was and I still haven't worked it out yet, but I uh, pulled this cover off, put the fuse back in, and now the sound has stopped. But then I went to get in the car and... So at least I've narrowed down that the sound is connected to the door switch somehow. I don't know what it is or what it's supposed to be. All right, I've pulled the fuse for now, but uh, I still have no idea what that buzzing noise in is. If any of you have any ideas what that is, it is uh, connected to the interior light. That fuse says it's for the interior light, so that's all good, and obviously the switch works, but um, no idea why that thing is making that horrible noise. So um, I have a horrible suspicion it may be some terrible alarm system was connected to it in the past or something um, but uh, I'm open to suggestions so uh, let me know okay I'm just having a look back at this footage now and um, another thought came to mind that I want to put out to you guys did these cars actually come out with a warning uh, letting you know that the lights are still on because whenever I connect the battery 
the dash lights are illuminated. The headlights don't go on, but the dash lights are automatically on whenever the battery's on. So there could be a fault there, and that buzzer could be a warning for that. So uh, let me know. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna check is my headlights. Now, um, my headlights, I know they work, but uh, I was just looking and um, I'm pretty sure that uh, this headlight is currently on low beam. That one's on high beam. So as you can see, now that is on low beam and this is on high beam. So that side is switched around, so I need to get that, uh, unplug that, switch around the, uh, the light, and that will be another job down. Okay, this one should be pretty easy because what I have here is this is the, uh, the plug going to the light and uh, I've just got the individual terminals here. This one has got the brown going onto it, which obviously that is the earth. So these two, I assume, are just swapped around. So this one should be an easy fix. Put that in there, and now we'll give that a test. Okay, the next thing I noticed is uh, I've pulled this whole indicator assembly apart because when I turned the indicators on, they were flashing, but I'd only actually connected up the bulb that's actually hidden in here. I hadn't actually turned on this bulb, which you can actually see from the front and the side. So this is the one I want to actually work. And I did that because there was only two leads coming out of here. I didn't realize, I thought these tabs coming out here were actually just to hold these wires in place. But I believe now actually they are the power tabs for this indicator. So uh, I need to run a wire from here to my standard connection so they'll actually work. All right, that's better. I've got both of them working the way they're supposed to. So now I need to go over to the other side and uh, repeat the same thing. Next thing for me to tackle, as you can see, I have the indicators on, but it's actually flashing the brake lights. So uh, I need to get in there, pull them out, and uh, work out where I've stuffed up the wiring. All right, so it's uh, now the next morning, and I've let this uh, dry up and drain out uh, overnight. So now I need to get back into it and uh, get all the old paint off so I can put some new paint on. Okay, I've got this all stripped down. I've got all the old paint off of it. So now I need to uh, clean it all up and get it ready to put some primer in. Okay, so I've primed the whole tank and uh, now I need to stone guard it. And um, I have finally gone and got myself a proper Schutz gun. I spent the uh, $15 I think it was delivered. Um, so hopefully I should get a nice uh, Schutz effect on this uh, tank. So let's start Schutzing. Okay. Definitely worth getting the Schutz gun. Screw straight onto the pot, which for starters makes it so much easier and uh, makes a much, much better effect. All right, let's put this in the sun and uh, let it hopefully dry up a bit. All right, I made too much mess inside when I tried it the first time, so uh, I flipped it over and uh, I'm gonna go again on the opposite side and uh, this time I'll do it outside to keep the mess a little bit more um, outside. Okay, next, getting back to the wiring. I know I've got a couple of these, I assume they're relays or something that go inside the, uh, the engine bay in the back. Uh, and I know I've got my replacement fuse panel here, but this whole thing looks a bit dodgy. I don't know what I'm gonna use and what I'm not because I have no idea what any of this does. I just know it goes in the back. So I'm going to uh, disassemble it, 
paint up the uh, the backing plate again so it looks nice and then assemble it again and put it all in and at least see where we go from there. coming back together again nicely. I've finally uh, managed to put it all back together after painting it and uh, now I'm just going to put in my fuse panel from Classic Retrofit as opposed to this old one so uh, we'll get that swapped over. Alright so I brought myself back down to this uh, tar light. To try and work things out I got back online and I've got myself a copy of the wiring, wiring diagram. For starters, first thing, I was worried about uh, an issue with the the, uh, the ground, and uh, so I did a little bit more research, had a look, and these wires seem like they're connected in the right spot, but um, then I looked in um, straight behind here, and the ground is right here. It goes from the light, and it was just hanging right inside here. So um, it actually, uh, it, it's supposed to be bolted up just inside here. So I bolt the, uh, the ground up and um, the rest of the wires look like they're in the right spot. So we can start putting this back together. I think my battery's finally gone flat. So I think that's all the testing for this for today. But uh, I have definitely at least come up with a much better understanding of what's going on and started to wrap my head around uh, the actual wiring back here. So um, there's lots more for me to continue on, but um, for now, I think that must mean it's time for Fun Facts with Mrs. Jeff. Hi guys, with every new generation of Porsche 911, people are waiting to see if they will change their flagship car from rear engine to mid. As you may know, the first production car from Porsche was the 356, which was rear-engined. But did you know that the original 3561, the prototype, was actually mid-engined? When the 356 went into production, the engine was actually moved to the rear in order to save costs and to accommodate rear seats. Okay guys, that's it again for another week. Um, as always, I didn't get as much done as I wanted to, but the oil tank is uh, all nicely stone-guarded and, uh, and prepared. And I'm starting to wrap my head a bit around this wiring issue. It's going to take me some time. It is very slow and tedious and uh, I have a very small brain when it comes to <laughs> taking the wiring and it hurts. So, uh, so many things I could say right now. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, as always, uh, if you want to help out the channel, go and uh, follow the link in the description to our store and, uh, and get some shirts and hoodies and stuff. Um, but as always, please like and subscribe to my channel, Home Built by Jeff, and you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram at the same place. See you guys. I'm looking at it, and, and this headlight is currently on low beam. That one's on high beam, and then when I... The horn works! <laughs> Start again. Hi guys! With every... <laughs> 